Good morning to you both. How's it going this morning? We're great. How are so you? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm coming to you from Toronto, Canada. So uh, thank you for this, I don't know, kind of anti-Valentine's Day type of film, I guess. I don't know. It's really a lot of fun. And Louise, I got to start with you because here you are, the writer, the director, the star. Seriously, is there anything that you cannot do, my friend? <laughs> um, you know, um, it, I, I had so much, I, you know, I just had so much fun making this film. And I really hope that um, all the hard work pays off and that people really, really enjoy it. I wrote it so that, you know, people could be entertained, so they could laugh, so they could dance along. And uh, I, I, I really hope people have fun watching it. Yeah, did, well, I, I'm really curious as to what inspired it. Like, did you have some crazy dream? What, where did this come from? <laughs> I've always loved the femme fatale archetype. Um, and I wanted, you know, I, I grew up watching all these terrific movies, you know, Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard, Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction, Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct, um, Jean Tierney in Leave Her to Heaven, Barbara Stanwyck in Double Indemnity. I, I've, I've always, I've loved the femme fatale genre my whole life. And I've also loved, you know, just cinema in general. And this movie is a movie that pokes fun at other movies. Uh, there's a lot of de very deliberate movie tropes in the film and um, a lot of buried treasure for, for film buffs. Yes, yes, there's a lot of that. Now, Ed, I got to ask you, I mean, this is a little different from what we've seen you do before. So that had to have been a big attraction. But I, I have to know, what was your initial reaction when you started to read this script? <laughs> I felt like I was read, reading something like that I'd never read before, certainly. And I was like, oh my God. And I was I was just laughing out loud. <laughs> and my mind starts running. Because the way I when I'm reading a project, you know, you want to get drawn in and you want to feel excited. And literally, that's what was happening. My mind was going, I was like, okay. Because the challenge is like, okay, how do we make this? work how do we pull this off what would i do and i start kind of saying the lines in different voices trying to figure out what fits and um and then i was like okay i'm gonna go, i've got to meet louise i've got to hear about this this vision and we met we got on straight away <laughs> she had an amazing vision for the film so enthusiastic so cool and um i was like Let, let's do this thing you know and, and and we just had the best time making it and you're right it's like nothing I've done before. And that's so cool to me because, you know, as an actor, like that's what you want to do. That's why you do it. You're trying new things. You're getting onto different projects, playing new characters. And this is like totally what that it's, is. It's amazing to see Ed in, in, a, in, in a comedic role because he really is a, a terrifically talented uh, comic actor. Well, thank you. You're yeah, welcome. yeah. It's really fun to watch the two of you do this together. And was the chemistry instant? Because like I said, honestly, I don't know how you got through some of those scenes without breaking up continuously. Oh, oh we, we did. did. Yeah, yeah. No, we did. <laughs> there were times when Ed was so funny. I mean, I had to just like, I'm like, just pause. And he, and he sort of like, Louise, get serious. And he, <laughs> you know, I'm the director, but I couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, we were constantly laughing on and off camera. We were la laughing at like five o'clock in the morning when we're exhausted and getting up, which never really happened. We were know? laughing in the middle of the never fight really scene that went on. It was, you know, it was such a physical movie. Yeah. I got to beat the crap out of him for about eight hours. So that was fun. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. And there's a great scene. I mean, there's a lot of fun stuff in this, but there's a great scene in the garage. And, you know, most people, when they go into their garage, they open the fridge to get a beer. No, not with you guys. Like, you find some dead body parts. Like, really? Come on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, the line in that film was like, did you, did you feed me a bunch of dudes? No, I did not <laughs> I feed you a bunch of dudes. I was, I was cracking up, man. And then, like, because obviously they're fake body parts, they just felt, they felt so fake in my hand. I'm like, what is this? You know, I'm like, don't know. And then I'm trying not to hit, hit her because, you know, she wasn't that far away from me in, in reality. And, and I'm like, okay, I really need to, like, throw this, like, extremely to, wide. You didn't want to stain that dress either. I mean, you know, I was like... Throw the body parts, but just don't hit me. This, yeah. this dress has to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's really totally a lot of fun to watch. Uh, you know, Louise, I was wondering, just curious, because like I said earlier in the interview that you did so much for this, you, you took control of this whole film. What was the thing that challenged you the most making this film? 
I'd say, you know, being a first time director, um, it was very challenging and I had to learn about, you know, a lot of the technical aspects of filmmaking, lenses, cameras, um, and I learned to do shot lists and storyboard and um, I worked hand in hand with my uh, cinematographer um, on all of the lighting and, um, you know, d directing and also being that character was challenging because I'm, you know, I have long, um, complicated monologues and I'm in, you know, sky high stilettos and these tight dresses and I'm running from being on, 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 you know, running around the set, moving lighting equipment, moving sandbags, and then also going back to Video Village to make sure I was enjoying what I was seeing on the screen. And then running back into the scene again, it was um, very challenging. But I mean, got yeah, through it. you've got to respect that, you know, because I was thinking, if I was writing a script for me, or I was like, I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to write my character. He doesn't really say a lot. So I don't have a lot of lines to learn. I'm probably going to take, the, you know, the easy seat, but... Louise is like, it's a testimony to her character, to who she is as a person, like hungry and driven. And, you know, you've got to respect that. I mean, I mean, she was so dedicated on this film and, and, and did it all. So hats off. Yeah. Yeah. Hats off. Exactly. Now, uh, before I wrap up, Ed, I've, I've got to ask you this. I know you've probably been asked a gazillion times, but, you know, look, we all we all know you from Gossip Girl. You were so, so good on that. And, I, and now that everybody's been in lockdown, there's so many new people, you know, finding this show and streaming it and, and watching. How did a show like that change your life? Oh, it changed my life so much. You know, I was 19 when we started. I went from living with my mum and dad outside London to then living with Case Crawford in Manhattan, which was a very big jump, you know? So it was, it was amazing. You know, I, I had, you know, I'd only been to the States on holiday and then all of a sudden I was living in this fantastic country in this fantastic city, New York. We just had the, I just had the most amazing time. This movie, like I said, is a lot of fun. So congratulations on this, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Take Thank care. You.